got you guys with a brand new striker 9 build and it's absolutely disgusting you guys already know the striker 9 is the fastest killing smg in warzone 3 so with this build today i made sure to focus the mobility and the recoil control so it's an absolute beam so of course stay tuned for the gameplays because i was going crazy the entire time real quick massive shout out to the noti gang top directly into it all right we got the striker in it just got landing we got the striker in hand as you guys could already tell i mean we have a entirely not entirely entirely different build but it is noticeably different from the uh the build i've been posting recently there's a whole pa i'm actually kind of happy i didn't get up there yeah we're running a different stock we got the rear grip i took off high green i've been i've been having a ton of fun with this build um i'm excited for you guys to try it too because like oh my god running out of my face bro reload I got some people flying in. That guy's an absolute bullet. But yeah, like I was talking about recently in one of my videos, I know you guys really enjoy when I drop builds that aren't bouncing all over the place. Um, so this build is really good for recoil control. It allows you to let it sh like shoot it really straight, but you keep that incredible mobility as well, incredible damage, everything about it. I mean, the striker nine, bro. I thought that guy was dead. I thought that's the full I got. Uh, but yeah, the Striker 9 is just ridiculous, bro. I mean, this, the WSP9, they're the clear best SMGs in the game right now. So if you guys aren't running the Striker 9, genuinely, you're, you are selling, bro. 100%. The big, the big stepper. Let me up top. Let me, let, let me stop yapping too much. Let me actually like lock in and try to drop a banger for you guys. I mean, we still got 35 up. 11 teams. Do not push in here, bro. I'm not trying to wipe you guys. You guys just ran out. Has zero awareness, bro. Come on. I do love how much like I, I just I can tell I'm just beaming with this build because typically with the other build I posted and a lot of builds you guys probably see, uh, especially like the World Series Warzone build, this thing is super bouncy. Bro. Like the second you start shooting it, it's immediately bounced into the moon. But this one is just like, I don't know, bro. It's nice to have it so controllable. I gotta jump. Fellas. Let's not make this let's not make this the easiest gunfight in the in, in the world, please. There's a 14 already. I really want to go get my own perks. I want to have double time instead of having irradiated. I hate not having double time, bro. It makes me feel so slow on the map. I can't stand it. It makes me feel like I constantly have to melee or something like Warzone 2. What, what is Don Diesel got going on in the corner? Oh, reload, reload. Me up top. Oh. That's self res. That's self res. I didn't even get that. Oh, that specialist. Oh my god. That works better than my perks. Now I got every perk in the game. Don't don't push. I just don't understand that, bro. I never have understood that at all. And you see your teammates just getting like viciously dunked on and you keep just working through to where your teammate just died. I don't know. Bro, I feel like I'm absolutely like teleporting across the map right now. I feel so quick with specialists and this build. I have been seeing a lot of people with the striker nine run the other build. I don't know what it's called. I think it's like the, the crotalus or something, um, but which I really don't understand, bro. 
but i don't see a lot of people running this priority stock for the build um and i think it's being super like heavily slept on because bro it gives you like i was saying earlier mobility and recoil control so you can fly around the map and still be uh extremely accurate bro and not have it bounce all over the place which i've been saying over and over i need to go that way yeah we need to we need to go this way bro One hundred percent. I was about to go back down that, to living and get four kills. Oh, this guy's not even up here. I started doing pull-ups, bro. What in the world was his game plan? Oh my god, this guy is so... This guy's footsteps are so loud. Bro, that, that guy's footsteps are so loud, bro. That was actually incredible. Hear him up there. Come here. I'm actually zooming, bro. I'm actually. I'm actually zooming, bro. See, and, and you can see with that kill right there, it still has the vertical bounce. So like you have to control the build so like i know i'm saying it has no recoil you could beam with it obviously i mean with recoil control i feel like i do that a lot bro i tell you guys in my videos like it doesn't have a lot of recoil and then you use the build and you expect it to really not move at all and then i start getting cronus comments and stuff like that but listen bro it takes a little bit of recoil control but what i mean by no recoil it takes less recoil control than normal you know what i'm saying like you don't have to control it as much as your other builds which is really nice i just threw myself in a Was there not another guy that just flew down? It sounded like he was landing on top of me. Bro, I feel like I'm absolutely gunning. We did get kind of blessed with the lobby right here. I mean, genuinely blessed. Maybe it's because I'm playing so late at night right now. It's literally almost 2 a.m. This guy's staring just face down in his dead body in his loot, bro. But I mean, I, I, no matter what, we're still showcasing how good this Striker 9 is, bro. And we got blessed with, bro, we got blessed with the lobby and specialist. Every single time I get specialist, I literally just feel like one of the Avengers. I feel like an absolute superhuman. Damn, I've killed him. That guy just backs out. I think I've killed that team. game bro I just started lagging out You're in this tent
that noise. I wonder, is it is the flex perk that good? Like, does the flex perk really make my footstep audio that much better? Because every time I get specialist, like, and I don't have my perk package, it is so noticeable how well I can hear footsteps. What is this ping I'm seeing, by the way? If this is a person, I promise I'm not cheating. Okay, it's not. It's not. I had to check, though. I just have a random live ping. It's because he backed out, bro. That's the guy that backed out of the game. As we were running across from over there, though, I did see a little landing trail over here. Yep. Yeah. No. Bro, what? Yeah, of course it's the same. It's me and just your teammate. Where, where in the, the world does your teammate think he's going? Oh my god. Oh my god. I genuinely thought he was dead. Dog, if that's how I died after not dying the entire game, if I died in that 1v1 to lose the game, you guys would have never seen me upload another YouTube video. Either way, blessed with the lobby, blessed with specialists, 44 kills, 16, almost 17,000 damage. That new striker 9 build is ridiculous. Oh my, oh my god, let me run. But like I always tell you guys, bro, if we go crazy in this game, I mean, it only tells you that it's going to be even better in, in normal. I'm surprised I won that gunfight, bro. I'm just out here jumping around the staircase like an absolute AI robot. I can't believe I got heavy armor again though for real like that's actually it, it, they're making it really common now, bro Let me know down in the comments. How how like common is heavy armor for you guys? I thought that was a bounty, bro I thought that was a bounty and I'm out here grabbing scabs on rebirth Grabbing scabs on rebirth island, bro. What is going on here? But for real though, how common is heavy armor for you guys? Because I feel like I'm getting it like once every like three games. And I won't lie, sometimes I do back out from it. But sometimes I feel like it's really good to actually showcase the weapon even even better. Bro, what in the world? Oh my god. The little icon just kept popping up. Let's actually buy the striker real quick. But yeah, like I was saying, I actually do like to showcase weapons in heavy armor sometimes. Because like I said, if it, rips, if it rips through people in this, I mean, it's just going to be even crazier and regular. Oh my God. The audio. Wait, we got somebody else. Play it up, play it up, play it up. That's one of the things I was saying in one of my last heavy armor gameplays, too. I think what I hate most. I think what I hate most is having to play it out four times in those like crazy gunfights. Guys paying no attention. I have time. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Hybrid maybe hit a dolphin dive. Oh my god, bro. I actually can't believe we're alive right now. Hybrid maybe hit a dolphin dive real quick, bro. I'm I'm out here headbutting random little brick walls. I'm also shooting me. I want this too in case I drop down. Get the refill. Oh 
Ah, so. I saw him again. Where sir? In the world do you think you're running? You're just sprinting away, running for your life, bro. Hold on, I hear somebody else. I hear somebody else. Let me reload. I feel like I need tempered inside a hand. That's what. That's all I need in heavy armor. Definitely hurt somebody else though. No question. Yep. I mean, even guys with four plates, bro, it really doesn't even feel that bad. I feel like I'm. I mean, obviously, the the, the striker nine is the fastest killing SMG in the game, so it's clearly not gonna feel bad no matter what. It's only one more plate. But uh, usually, bro, in heavy armor, you, I feel like I'm dumping my entire mag into people when I'm going for a kill. But with the striker nine, like I don't, I don't feel bad at all. Oh, we might be cooked. Oh, we might. Oh my god, we might be cooked. His name is Tweak Season. I'm dead. They're getting angles on me. Reload, 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 reload. I actually like that you did that, sir. Thank you. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Oh my god, bro. Well, good thing to know. We are moving with it. That's for sure. The mobility on it feels amazing. I did not realize that was four people, bro. I thought I was out up here finding like two to three the whole, whole entire time. And then I went into the smoke and I feel like somebody else just spawned in. Oh my God. I thought I was going to be fine there. For me, bro. Oh, he jumped out way further than I thought. Like I said, let me know in the comments what your thoughts on, are on it because I mean, clearly, bro, I, I make these videos videos for you guys and what you guys enjoy. So if you guys tell me absolutely not, then no, I will not get rid of it. But if uh, if if some of you guys want to see a switch up, I'm definitely down to test out more things in the videos. So like I said, definitely let, let me know in the comments. Let me know, definitely uh, vocalize your opinion 100%. Don't be silent, bro. Yeah, yay, yay or nay on the uh, on the yo intro still. Bro, oh, whoa. I was so confused for a second. He sounded like he was right inside that door. Oh, you just got. I don't know where he was at, but he was there. There's one upstairs. This is the first time I used my DG58 all night. I had another crazy gameplay. Obviously, I don't know if that's going to be first or second gameplay in the video, but I didn't use my DG a single time. Oh, somebody had a Tomfa. That is terrifying. Oh, you are not real. No way it didn't let me cancel the animation. That's something I also want to say in this video too. I was getting a comment in uh, one of my last videos, I think, where you guys saw that I popped in my PRD and I didn't get the animation at all. Which if you guys don't know how to do that, 
all you have to do for that by the way is as you're activating the prd just spam melee uh, it's, uh, it's... Oh my God. i heard him above me bro i had to focus that but yeah as you're as you're activating the prd you just spam melee and it, it cancels the animation which is kind of crazy i feel like a lot of people know that but at the same time a lot of people do not know that so I thought I would say it in a video because a lot of you guys were commenting about it. That guy has no idea where he wants to go. He was just running for the fun of it. Thinks I'm cheating. 100%. Calm me down. Ran, he ran for me, he's downstairs. That is fucking trying hard. Try hard. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. oh my god. Holy bro, like I said earlier, I do feel like I'm absolutely moving with this thing. Oh my god, I almost just sold. Oh, I'm out of ammo, bro. I need to lock in. Who's hitting me with a recon drone? Stop that. hit my reload paddle bro. I have four paddles in the back of my controller and I bumped the square one and I popped a little random reload as I was chasing that guy out of the window oh my god what a stupid way to go out genuinely but bro 36 kills 16 almost 17,000 damage no matter what our pacing was ridiculous and like I was asking you guys in those gameplays definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys think I hope you guys enjoyed those gameplays but real quick let me get you guys the brand new striker 9 build starting off with the muzzle of course I was running the zim 35 compensated flash hider as you guys know I run this on almost all my smgs it's super helpful with the visual recoil is making it to where the striker nine is an absolute beam then like i was saying i was heavily focusing on the recoil control and the mobility so for the mobility we have the dr6 hand stop for our under barrel giving you guys that ads speed aim walking speed sprint to fire speed and movement speed helping out the striker nine in every possible way just making it to where you're a whole lot faster and mixing it perfect with the muzzle and the under barrel is the fss priority tactical stock giving us that recoil control movement speed and sprint speed which is the perfect stock for the build giving you guys both mobility and recoil control making it to where you guys are extremely fast and you're also even more accurate Accurate. And speaking of being accurate, we're also going to be tossing on the second ZX grip for our rear grip, giving you guys that firing aim stability, gun kick control, and recoil control, making it to where the Striker 9 isn't bouncing all over the place. And of course, for the last and final attachment, we have the 50 round drum mag. Increase that mag capacity, which with the fire rate on the Striker 9, this is absolutely essential for the build. But overall, that's my full build for the Striker 9 SMG on Rebirth Island. Make sure you guys go through, give the entire bit of try and time the highest cool game you guys get with it. That's it for the video. Ooh.